I'm Dami from Il Dani Chene Vizio. Today, I want to teach you how to play nice arpeggio sound, which is just like a harp. one note at a time. So most important technique to play arpeggio is as you play along the note, you have to shift your weight on the finger. So your weight up here, move, move, move. So your wrist move along the note. Do you see? I will play it slow. Do you see? I'm pushing it down and move my wrist and use my wrist weight. What about if I do the next in E? Do you see? So use wrist instead of playing each note. And also when you practice arpeggio, try not to leave the fast, nor not holding too long, but just smooth. And make sure your wrist is half circle, just like this. Then it will be smooth and clear arpeggio sound. Now let's see how we're going to use the arpeggio technique in the song. First, if you're looking at the score, right hand starts with the G, C, E, which is literally C chord, but we play it broken from bottom to top. So as I explained previous, as you play along, you move your wrist and then pushing it down. That way you can play the arpeggio smooth. The left hand plays B flat, so matching it E and B flat. And C, F, C, E, F, F, C, and the right hand B flat. Left hand just plays B A B A after that G F E D C just a stepping down and then your right hand after the arpeggio C F C E F F C and then you go to B flat C A and stepping down B A G F and then left hand I mean the right hand thumb plays just C so B flat C A C G C and then breaking off how you do C E G C E G and then rolling C E G C E this is the arpeggio that's also arpeggio but this one is a slower than the last chord how are you gonna play one note at a time and then you're moving your wrist and making a circle to make a smooth sound got it that's our one point lesson for today. You have to remember. And then the next line is left hand E flat and D, E flat, D, B, A, G, F. Just a stepping down. And the right hand is also G, F, B, F, A, B, B, F. So it goes G. but you can just keep using the same finger it's up to you and then the next one is D and F and right left hand is B flat and now this is one of the hardest part left hand step down to A right hand has trill which is you just play it C D C D C D C D but since finger number four is the weakest one, you can use three five or two three or three four. It really doesn't matter. I use three four, but you can change one three two three 
three, four, four, five. You can use whatever you wanted and play around and see which one you like better. So this one, trill and B flat, F, C, F, and the left hand goes to B flat and F, and right hand comes to D. our one point lesson again arpeggio right hand comes G B D F so skip 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 then G again so ending with the G and between there is a skip how are you gonna play it make sure you roll in your wrists and then play one note at a time it says this is one count we have to keep holding it so bottom note just keep hold it as you play see wrist and also your elbow outside then it's easier try not to play each note with your finger then it hurts a lot especially this side so you have to make sure you move your wrist relax and then right hand again C F G A and then the next one is a D F G B so G, B, D, D, F, G, B, one note at a time, make sure, do you see I move down and up, then it's going to make smooth sound, and then the next one, F, G, B, D, got it, so if we play it, you have to make sure that you move your wrists down and pushing it, and put your weight that way you can make really smooth and nice sound got it in the next lesson i'm going to teach you how to play one note over the, the other one with beethoven sonata you how to voice in the melody line. I hope you enjoy playing the song and I will see you next time. Bye!